Yes, yeah, not worrying the coupon, what's happening, boys? Where's Slaney? Replace one horny winger with another one, mate. <laughs> Very nice. So we've got the second horny <laughs> winger in Scotland. And <laughs> slightly <laughs> better looking. I hope better looking. Slightly, I just like it. I just like it. I hope better looking. Of course, I don't want to do that. Slaney's got a Denny's I've seen a picture of you and Slaney the other day on Instagram. Is it bad? No, it was just like you were looking at. Like you're looking fresh, like Botox and all that stuff. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. You're, 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 you're looking good, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was an ugly wee bastard in the red, like resis. Nah, you were alright. You were alright. Right. Part was good, aye. Part, part got you through. Didn't nah, I got a couple of things off a bit of part of the I'm the oh, boss now. Oh, after, after last week, after last week's show, I what happened last week? No, I just I came up with something I said uh, about uh, well a horny hangover, which didn't get done too well with the right. family. My my three boys. Are going to have me? Well, they did. Uh-huh. But you said the missus wasn't it? She didn't mind that. No, she no was, obviously she was. No, she, she was all right. Yeah, she got a mention. She was all right. <laughs> did you did, boys, did, boys did, all be honest, just make boys. Was it, was it a shower one or was it actually oh, it's it's just, you in the shower on your own or was it something else? No, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I don't even want to go there. Rubbing your ass down on the shower. <laughs> on the shower <laughs> the glass I don't the even go there. Be like, honest. So that night, did you? Be honest. That night, did you? Did you get it? Ah, for the boys? No, for the missus. No, for the boys. Aye. I know, but I thought I would. Aye. You've you been know. married, how I think we got married the same day. Uh, nine, uh, years, uh, it? nine years, isn't uh-huh. it? Nine years, aye. What, are you still doing it? He thought of it, I'm still doing it. <laughs> Me and her, gone in. Uh-huh. What do you mean, gone? Uh-huh. No, it no, doesn't happen very often. Well, it's because you're, it's cause you're watching, uh, watching games. Was, 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 was it a huddle? No. That's just uh, a YouTube. And then I cl- I cl- this is the Life of Lonely Manager. I'm clipping it on my cell, mate. Oh. He's already wow. shown me clips and I come in the day. Wow. You so need to, you need to do the work. Grossed, Obviously, you? You're, when you're at a football club, you're, you're seeing, it's on huddle and it's clipped and it's algorithms. Yeah. So you can, you can clip to your bits. That is fair play to you, mate. Uh, this is fair a night great mate. Uh-huh. Fair play to These boys are getting clips at the work, mate. I can tell they'll be like, get to fuck, man. I'm a part-time football player. Leave me alone for two minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm on them. Call. But you need to be, mate. Uh, right, before we start, Grovner Spot. The clever boy, come on, read uh, that. Sign up for the sign up offer from Grosvenor Sport is bet £5 and get £25 in free bets in any sport. Sign up at G Sport. G Sport. G Sport. G Sport. G Sport. <laughs> right. That was your last weekend, wasn't it? No, no. That's him gone. <laughs> By the way, Ben, then the noise about him, very clever. Ah, right. What have you, have no, you, got, what have you got? There's no many clever Grades football players out there. Oh, he's one, he's uh, one. I got, I got seven ones and I threw my standard grades. So, like, my wife's a pharmacist and I. Oh, oh drugs, drugs everywhere. That'd be days. You get your Viagra. Oh, no, I know. Camagra, jelly. Remember, I Camagra. First time I took a Viagra, my missus face, beetroot, chest. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? I couldn't have Viagra. Remember, I went through a stage and needed that on the time. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, so your missus is a pharmacist to her. No, no she, she, she's a pharmacist, but I get the, I get the best results now. Uh-huh. So, see, whenever I ring it up, her mum and dad hate it. That you're, uh, they hate it, they hate it. But I would just say it like, fair, she's got a master's degree, so. But. Uh, and, you, and, and the Stanley guys, I, I don't know. Right. University of Life, That's the Jerry Britton mode, isn't it? That is me, huh? Jerry Britton. Lawyer. Me, 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 I don't know who you're yeah. horny for, your missus or Jerry Britton? Jerry Britton. I thought you called him as Jerry Britton. Big T Fowl Hood, he's man, he was brilliant. So he was on the way to a game, he'd be studying. And then he would just switch on as soon as he got off the bus. Football mode. Football mode. Poof, right into it. So good looking, clever. And good at football. He's Missy's school teacher. So I was very she like? a clever eyes. What does he get? Four, what's, the, no, but what's the missus like? Love, oh, she's lovely. Lovely eye. Lovely. I see eye. Lovely yeah. looking, yeah. Eye. I, I don't and we're going to get a wee get together. So oh, he is, right? A wee force. He's in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> people don't, I don't, I don't know if I've obviously we've interviewed you and you've been on before, but mm. people don't know your dad was a teacher. Your dad was a football player as well, wasn't he? He was, I. Sheffield United, is that right? Sheffield United. He watches open goal, doesn't he? Mate. I did it start, didn't no, it? No, no, he does, he does. Because he, he, you know, he, he messaged you, didn't he? He messaged me on, on YouTube. On YouTube or something. <laughs> he's got like, I, I know for a fact as well, he's, he's one of them that always, like, reads forums and all that sort of stuff. I know he does. Oh, but like, I, you're, I, what I teams you're at? Mate, I know he does, aye. But, you know, I seen the comment and it was like, John McGee Day, like, <laughs> love the stuff, sir, or something like that. <laughs> that is who, writes a, who writes a, a comment <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> on YouTube, but, uh, he does, to be fair, aye. He uh-huh. loves it, mate. He, he's dad played with uh, Jimmy Johnson, didn't he? He did, aye. That's what he's claiming to fame, is he? Top notch. I think obviously Jimmy Johnson was coming to the end of his career, but, he was at Sheffield United, but his stuff is claiming to fame, but mm-hmm. he, Kind of took Absolute Jimmy Johnson's legends. place. Then, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the Sheffield United team. Oh, did he? Right. So what, was he a winger as well? You have that. Horny winger as well. Well, you have that. There's a kind of. Hey, there's a kind of. Yeah, you can be mentioned by John Yogi Hughes. I got a text through to me the other night, and uh, I thought it was poor John oh, Yogi, Yogi Hughes. I, I get I shit myself. So I did. Oh, like, come oh, on, no way. I. And then I realised it was obviously. Did uh, you know him? 
Do no, no, you? No, no, no. But again, you're talking about legends. You're talking about Jimmy Johnson. Mm. But when I saw it, John Yogi Hughes, I went, my God. You know, I went. Pff, no yeah. Way. You know, the sad, the sad thing is as well. It's like there's, 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 there's not, there's not many, many left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye. And that's, oh, that's the sad thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Clark is still going strong too. Aye. Mm-hmm. Can she not be the same place as me? So. Does he? <laughs> aye. That's what you saying horrendous. <laughs> See, that's a John Clark. You've actually asked me. See, you're saying there's no men in them what, left. Back, yeah. <laughs> see, you're saying there's no men in them left. But that's like me when I meet up with the, kind of the 72 boys. You know, the, the John Greggs, uh, Colin Steens, Willie Johnson. Mm. I absolutely love that. You mm. know, just being in their company. You know, a real buzz. But then you're saying there's no men in them no, the left now, you know. And so it's sad, sad, but it's it seems to have every, every so often. Mm-hmm. You, you hear something else happening, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Rangers. Uh, losing 2 0, first leg. How should we talk about the Commonwealth Games or something first before we go into that? No, this is your chance. Nah, Come on. I know. Listen. I want a passionate rant. You're usually good on these are things. Are you into Commonwealth Games, aye? Eh? I'm into aye. I've been watching every. Well, what did you watch? Ah, yesterday was watching. Oh, the shot put. I was you watching weightlifting on that yesterday. He's got a good so story about a German <laughs> shot putter, him, uh, him and a woman, German aye. shot putter. Right. Aye, we'll not go there. We'll talk about <laughs> Rangers now, right? Then. Uh, nah, listen, it was. Uh, <clears throat> So disappointing in terms of they started well. I don't know if you watched the game. They had in the first 10 oh. minutes, 15, they seemed to settle pretty well without really doing anything get, like in terms of getting forward. But uh, when you go up against a side, you know, and you look at their background, where they've came from, you know, and where they are now, I mean, they, they've done remarkably well, but, you know, you've got some of the players, though, as well. Some of the players that they had playing, like Burgess, was it? Portsmouth. See, this is what I did. Boy Sykes was acting mm-hmm. So this is what the, the guys would all obviously have been clued up about, you uh-huh. know, to me, just settling down to watch the game. Didn't know too much about them. But what happened me right away was uh, when you go to play a game, you've got to have that right attitude, that hunger, that desire. Uh, and for me, throughout the game, they outworked us. Uh, the, the shape that they had, they, they played that three five two, and they were good going forward. You're mm-hmm. talking about some of the players that had, but when they didn't have the <coughs> ball, they get back into get their shape, into and shape. then they yeah. worked, they worked, and you. Look, I looked at Rangers. They, I looked at our front three as well. You know the way we played, we played the three at the back as well. Did you? Yeah. What did they do? Uh, Lund- no, I'm saying we played the other night. Last but Lund- night. Lund- oh, right, I'm Lund- Lund- Sands, Golson, you know, and Tavernier, Barisic, we bit higher up in the middle of the park, obviously. Uh, they went with the two, but they never go to the ball into Tillman, uh, Sholak, uh, Matonda. You know, the play- now, as a midfield player, you know, you want to get your good players on the ball. That, that's your but job. But they're not playing, they, they weren't playing as wing backs, so were they? They were playing like as a three up yeah. front. The, so is it like a three, four, three? Because I, I, I thought it looked like a four, five, mm. one. But, well, obviously, that's just going off of what I was, because I, I never watched the game. I just mm. seen, I watched the highlights last night and it looked like it could have been like a doing, to be fair. Oh. Like, the, the, a proper ah, doing we'll get out of jail do you so know why, why is he went three at the back for his first game of the season when he's I don't playing know, it was Matondo wasn't playing as a wing back but Matondo, wasn't, he's Matondo, a winger Matondo, no it was uh, you had Barisic and Tavernier Matondo ah, was up side. but I thought they would get in a wee bit kind of closer to show that but they didn't work Cap, they didn't as a three so you know look, uh, back to who played there when you look at Morelis you've got uh, we had Aribo I mean Kent Kent obviously wasn't he fat you know the movement that they always showed for it. They would come short, then they get it. It was spin, they go long. They were moving all the time. They were so static. Mm. It was unbelievable. Mm. And it's every Is- isolated the striker as well. Aye, right. the big big fella show like up top. You know, I look he's at him. came in for a bit of criticism, isn't he? Is no, it? Uh-huh. Well, the criticism mm-hmm. is, is he, well, he's not had enough service in my opinion. But you know what I mean. If you're not getting the service, let people know he was just. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't set up to give them the service. No, and that's what they did. That's what mm. I'm trying to see is as a midfield pair, Kamara and Jack in there, they didn't get the ball into them. But then I'm looking, when you're looking ahead of you, they're not, weren't they showing enough? They weren't working hard. Well, Lundstrom's been your best player for the last six months. Well, why? why the, that's what I'm saying. Why? But, but even you look at Sands and Lundstrom, uh, Sai, I was expecting a wee bit better quality for, for them. Now, maybe breaking into the middle of the park, they could play a ball in. Nothing, you right. know. I'm not expecting Lundstrom to be that kind of player though, who is the kind of... The one that steps in. Aye. Mm -hmm. Not not a 10, but the one who's linking the play. Aye. And Sands as well, because he's predominantly... He's played midfield. He's a midfield player, predominantly, but uh, no, they just weren't at it, you know, the shape, the tactics. So the manager would change it a wee bit at half-time. Never change it, kept wet. And uh, at the end of the day, when you get out of jail, the the penalty that they got, 
don't know if you've seen it. It's never a penalty, but uh, you've, you've seen them giving them, haven't you? Especially oh, the VR, VR. I mean, I mean they were looking. You could tell they were looking to give uh-huh. the penalty, uh, but it doesn't matter because it could have been. It could be yeah, three, four, five. Uh, Did you play against some of the players? Then? Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying there. The, the centre half, Burgess. We, oh, big Christian Burgess. Ah, it was yeah. a pump. Yeah, yeah, right. So, like, I mean, if, without being disrespectful, mm. like, came from League One. Yeah. yeah. And the boy Sykes, he's only young to be fair, I think he's 22, 23, but he was, he was at Aki, so. Mm. He still have dog shit on his boots in the pits. <laughs> and that's what I'm <laughs> saying about. A, well, as a and that's what I'm trying well. to see. Look at where they've came from. You know, that, that team, that group of, of players. You think maybe Ra- Rangers maybe just turned up thinking, yes, oh, listen, this, is, absolutely. this is this is union suit. Absolutely. And that, that, that line up made it suggest that they did think it was going to be comfortable playing two centre so. midfielders as you're three at the back mm-hmm. thinking that they're going to hit so much of the ball. But mm-hmm. I've sort of seen that attitude, them. that mentality, just think maybe getting ahead of themselves a wee bit, you know, first and foremost. And it's a big game. So well, it's, it's a massive game. One thing you would say though is that you, you know, the way obviously Rangers were last season Europa League. Same as Celtic at Celtic Park, mm-hmm. you can't write Rangers off. Mm. Oh, no, 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 the second leg. Do you know so, Jake, they turn around? It wouldn't surprise me if they did. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me if they did. Uh, we've got a wee bit of an insight here. Are you ready for us? He yes. played with McLaughlin at Sunderland. Right. How was he? McLaughlin, he was, he'd done, he'd done, to be fair, his first season with us, he'd done really well. Right. He'd done really well because we came off the back of, I don't know if you've seen the, the Netflix documentary, the, the first season. Yeah, aye. Did we had. Uh, Steely, a great lad, but at a hard time with Robin Roy. His, hands, were, camp, his right. hands dislocated every time the ball came <laughs> up, didn't it? Well, Strange, that, wasn't it? Pop it on, Russ. No, it wasn't. I think it was a start. That, steel is the wrong word for his hands, isn't it? Aye, aye. Like, what is the opposite of steel, man? Like rubber? No, rubber, uh, rubber, rubber, rubber sticky. <laughs> uh, no, St- steel is a great lad, but we had. There was a start that cost us. There was something in the paper, and it cost us. It was the season we got relegated. Individual goalkeeping errors cost us 31 points that season. Wow. Right. And not just like one alls, mm. like mm. decisive moments. Mm. John came in and done really well. First season in League One, done mm. really well. But again, John's one of those guys, he, he, you know, he's never, uh, he's never finished a con, he, he's run his contract down at every club he's been at. <laughs> Aye. Well, that's so, so like, leaves on a free, gets almost out when yeah. he can. He's good with his feet, I got one. But uh, you, if you're he should stick his feet on his shot. He's not in the same. He's not in the same. Why is he starting ahead, ahead of McGregor though? Like, I don't know. And this is what every. Because the manager's been pushed at every interview I've heard, you know, is that your number one? You're not coming out and say that. You know, and in, in my eyes, I don't think he is. Because I thought, I thought it should be uh, McGregor's. Maybe I, th- I thought McGregor might have retired last season, mm-hmm. but he's been out that way. Mm-hmm. But, so I thought, well, you're still number one. Mm hmm. But yeah. so I don't know if something something's happened yeah. or. But well, going back to last Saturday, the Livingston game, you know, I thought maybe on that surface, McLaughlin better be his feet. feet. Uh, and then another night, I was thinking, no, I didn't know anything about this uh, USG, but I'm thinking, are they merely a physical side? They're going to be throwing a lot of balls into the boats because McLaughlin is it's certainly better uh, at com- coming for boys. Think so, aye. Aye. Oh, aye. Right. That's, okay. that's a kind of fault, maybe my. Uh, uh, that's through it, McGregor. You mm. know, he doesn't come off his line, mm. right enough. But when you're talking about shot stopping and that goal the other night, McGregor saves that. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. I know it takes a wee slight deflection, yeah, it's just, but, but I think McGregor gets that. I don't, I don't want to be too harsh on John there, right, but you, you would expect him to save it. Of course, I, I, Oh, it. God, I. It's not, it's not like it's taking a massive deflection. Mm. It's just a wee here, nick, but you would it's still here. expect him to get to uh, uh, get to it. But, uh, and I, that's a question you're asking him, it's and probably putting him in a position, but, McGregor. No, I don't want to be on your slot, slot and pull. No, 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 I don't want to be on your slot. You've done that off get... camera, it's fine, man. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's, <laughs> and I think, I don't think it's slot. And then we're talking about McLaughlin. I think he's better with his feet. Mm-hmm. I think he's better at comfort boys. But we're talking but about out and out shot stopping. McGregor. He's mm-hmm. second to none. He got a bit of criticism at the end of last season, McGregor, didn't he? He made a couple of mistakes. Aye. I think it was, what was the one? Was it at Livingston? He dropped it, the ball was across. What? Food and drink to him, you know, and uh, just one bit you expect, you expect him to make. Aye, and, of mm. course. But, he's but there's also been other games where he's kept him in it last course. year. Well, See the course. character of John, but it's totally mm. different from McGregor. If you look at McGregor, he always looks an angry man. Aye. He's at his back four. McLaughlin looks quite quite laid back he he's, 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 he's very 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 he
Right. From what I hear, I don't know Alan McGregor well. I, mm. I don't know him at all, to be honest with you. But Tosh McKinley was like that. I used to pick him up when we were going straight to Tynecastle. Right. You know, pick him up at his door, right. didn't bother. Uh, Nicest? Came out, aye, oh, suited and booted. Every time. Pinstripe. Oh, that's right. Pinstripe. Where are you going? Where are you going, going, where you going the day of your aye. meeting? Aye. You going to a funeral? You going to a wedding? Where are you going? Uh-huh. No, just stroked him back out. Somebody was actually back t- in the house. Somebody was telling me that story the other day about him and Larson. Huh? Oh, they were scrapping, uh-huh. weren't they? Uh-huh. 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 Do you have his after dinner? No. He goes to is it, whoever the manager was at the time, then he says, Why am I in the second team? And the manager goes, Because there's not a fucking third team. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> apparently uh, Larson was the one that stopped him from getting the sack after. After oh, did he, he, aye, so last time was the one was like, listen, don't, don't, listen, it's, it's happened, it's done. Done, right? Because mm-hmm. Tosh, boy, Tosh. Tosh. Nah, I think Tosh was thinking, man. Last time was quite good, was not it? Aye, last time was good, aye. I mean, you, what, what did you think him? Because he had that no, arrogance, didn't he? He had that arrogance, didn't he? But I think like, that comes with being Henry Larson. Uh-huh. And what he I was, was a wee bit too young, I wasn't really in the Were you not, no? that. I just remember him always like being in the second team, like the away team dressing room, just always getting a rub and yeah. we'd always just be sitting there, wouldn't we? Silence, man. Aye, just pure but silence. Remember, see, asking him to sign someone, you would, because you would sometimes tell you to beat him. Aye, I would I? I mean, you know, get somebody in your dressing room, one of the young boys that knows how to sign all that. Oh, uh, that, you stay boys and forwards down there. There's so many fans in Glasgow, mate. Bad <laughs> forge on the wall. Uh, <laughs> you took him some days out. Brilliant, uh, wasn't it? I sit in my mate's house and he's like, oh, thanks very much for getting us that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking fake. <laughs> it was oh, Big Mac so, McGovern, Matt. Remember nah, Big Mac McGovern? Like, like, somebody asked you to sign a top and you're like, you've got like four on it and then you just like scribble the rest yourself, don't you? <laughs> or you get the resis to sign a member. One of the young boys was always normally good at that. You just get a young boy, spend all afternoon. Give him a tell uh-huh. or something when you go, mate. Go and do it. <laughs> Would last ever shout you like if you gave the ball away or not? No, I wasn't there for, for long. That was like. I, Your his... debut was up front of him, done it. You've told ah, my yeah, story, Steve Alford. Ah, but he was, he, he was only, that was his last season. I mean, he scored, he, he scored his last uh, two goals, didn't he, against the He was crying. I was in the stand that game, but that was like my breakthrough season. Right. And I went and made my debut. But he I was, was great, I know. What would he left? What would delighted he left? Aye. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, didn't <laughs> enjoy. Uh-huh. It was like, a lot of people always would, would say to me, who, "Who's the best player you played with?" And it's, I probably always go back to him. Like, I was just going to say that. So everywhere you went after that, like, Ever and Larson was still. Aye, that, what was he so good at in terms of training and playing, mum? Just like, what would you say his outstanding quality was? Was he rapid? Nah. Was he really strong? Nah. Like, great in there, but just movement, clever. Like, who who leaves Celtic and goes to Barcelona? Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen, does it? Mm-hmm. But you man your own loan as well and one league yeah. as well. A lot of good players. I believe he probably believe, believe in himself big time, isn't he? Like, oh, aye. He, he believed he should be. Like, now he goes on to play with Man United and all that. He believes that he should yeah. be at that level, Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. It's a mindset. Of course. You said closest to him is Salah. More Salah. What about some of the players we had back then as well, man? Terry was ridiculous, isn't it? I used to sit and watch us and be like, well, this is what I didn't get. Football now, like, no, I've had this argument with loads of coaches, you know, how, see, there you're watching analysis, right, which I think is good, mm-hmm. but football was the same game it was 15, 20 years ago. That is, isn't it, mm-hmm. really? Mm-hmm. Aside, from now, aside from now, everybody's got an opinion and rotations and mm-hmm. formations and, and, you know, low block, mid block, whatever. That's who it is now, but sports science. Mar- Martin, so, sports science so, and so innovations and stuff. Aye. By Jim Henry. Big Jim Henry, yeah, but you've, you've, the football's got quicker and mm. you, you're on you're on more high intensity distances, all that sort of stuff now. But under Martin O'Neill, like we we never watched any video analysis no. or in Champions League games or anything like that. And I think, well, what's different? Yeah. Well, what is different? Well, in terms of that level, can you I think they, I think they <laughs> players, I think, can you I think you can you overdo it? But they players at that level knew the game inside out, didn't they? Whereas boys have got things still But you're still getting used to us for hard, aren't you, man? Mark Ronaldinho in the first, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. surely you're going to say, like, there's Ronaldinho's clips, mate. Do you know what I mean? But, mm-hmm. but we never done any of that stuff. No. But we'd still win games. So do you think it's made football worse? No, I just think there's, I think now it's more ticking boxes, isn't it? Because see if you don't do shape on a Friday or shape on a Thursday, which you probably do, like you might do. Yeah. If you're obviously. I do like five, ten minutes of shape. Five, ten yeah. minutes of shape, but if you don't do it and you lose, it's straight away people are saying, well, I didn't know what shape yeah, we're playing. Yeah, yeah. It's like more, They're I think, taking boxes, away from, I, away from that's what I think. Basically, aren't it? Aye, yeah. Probably. Good. Good. Right. <laughs> how's, uh, how's life at Hibs? Obviously, this is a bit of a fucking disaster. Yeah, I've had a bit of a beast, mate, so. I've had a beast, didn't I? No, this, is, yeah, just, this has been a disaster, mate. Yeah. Did you have that on when you took the two penalties? <laughs> no, uh, no, I, 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 no, I mean, the worst thing is, I want to do the goalie bon, Bonner Groves, man, you know what it's like as well. It's like, it's, it's, it's a junior ground, isn't it, basically? Mm. And 
on that on that far side, right right wing first half, all the fans mate, just here. I don't know, ah, just on me, mate. Everything I done. Uh, and I thought I'll, I'll take a penalty, and shut them up, man. Stuck it wide. <laughs> Surreal. Never must never never stuck a penalty wide in my life, mate. And I done it there. And then the goalie shouting at me as well. The goalie was <laughs> shouting what? Get up here, get up here. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> what's some like, what's what's happened to me here? That's what's that's happened that's to that. me. Was your dad again? He was. Uh, what did he say like, after? No, he was all right. He was all right. Be fair, he was. He would tell me I played well even when I didn't play well now. Oh so, really? So, aye, so. He wasn't like that when you were young, too, was he? No, nah, but no. To be fair, he's. I say from that, I, I played quite well. But that's the annoying thing for me. Like, I felt it was just because I, I, I missed five months of last season with us oh, as well, right? Really? And then I've told it again, so there's something not quite right. But I just felt it was getting back to kind of feeling quite sharp again. And then did you have a knot on it? No, no, I just I, I tore it. So I, I agreed to made the ligament mm. there, but I tore it again in, in the Norwich friendly by mm. passing the ball. You, you, right. don't, you, you, don't, you don't tear it. You should just keep. You should just keep dribbling. Mate, stop passing the ball. No, but <laughs> like you, you don't. You don't tear the ligament from uh, passing the. It's yeah, four. Something. Like a block tackle or something. Something, so something. something not right. So, but no, it's been it's been good so far. It's been good. I mean, it's a. The, lad, the lads, there's a lot of new faces as well. I'm one of them, obviously, but signed a lot of foreign lads. I just hope that, I mean, great result of the weekend for us. Touches, touch you, you did. Right. You did. <clears throat> I just hope that, obviously, it's a, the derby this Sunday as well, which it's a different kettle of fish. Aye, and it's, it's quite a, it's quite a young squad. We've got quite mm -hmm. a young squad, a lot mm -hmm. of new players. I just think if we can win on Sunday, we've got tough because I mean Rangers two weeks later after that as well. Uh, yeah. So you get off a good start. Die. That's a hard side. That's a good team. Like, so they, they, they recruited well. Mm -hmm. and they recruited well. See now you're not doing anything mm. in terms of playing. Do you help coaching? Did Lee Johnson ask your opinion? No. No. Uh, you no. have to go out and coach with that. When you, you don't want to I know, but I'm just saying. Did he sit? Did he sit in the stand? Do you analyse? Help? Give your opinion? No. So well, some uh, a, lot, a lot of coaches don't want your opinion, though, do they? Some some don't want your opinion. Some You'll be threatened. Don't. Right? They might no, feel I'm always on my older But that, that can happen as well. Yeah. Because if they see him on the sideline, the manager asks him, can you give us a wee kind of your take on it and all that? People start to kind of go, ah, look, you're the shooter. A lot, a lot of coaches don't yeah. like that. It right. was like the same, uh, the same like, first time I experienced that. Like, Alex Neil Sunderland didn't like any players coming in the restroom before yeah. the game or mm -hmm. at half time mm -hmm. or after the game because his reasons were that some players would see you sitting and going, I wish he was playing now. Just sort of managers see, are different. See, I was totally different because I would ask everybody's opinion. People in the game at times go <coughs> at they don't want to have sort of him involved because he might be taken. He might think, oh, he's yeah, better yeah. than me and all that. I don't care. If somebody's better at me at analysing a game. Somebody's seen something I've not seen. I want yeah. them beside me. Of I'll ask their opinion. I think that's what Dan Close done well last year when he brought Big Charlie and I think he, he leaned on Charlie quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing That's good. Exactly. I think that's good. But I've brought Big Brothers and I'm texting brothers all the time, eh? Good. And then you see that I've not seen. I think that's how you should be. I didn't know you Derek can. Who? Derek Lyle. I don't know, I would never ask him. Never ask him. Is he in hell? We're going on a night out, I'd ask him. Is he a top man? He's helping me. He's a good lad. Is he? Because he is a great lad. He is. I was with him at Thistle for a short period of time, and he's just a brilliant boy. Sure he is. He said you were horny in as well. Ah. I think he's a bit, wee bit horny and amazing. He's a cool look. Oh, he's a handsome boy. That's right. He's too handsome for the game, good. Uh -huh. But no, but that's what you need. That that type in there as well. Yeah. The characters and all that. I think. But I think uh, you need you need the, the buffer. You need the the buffer who can joke and be pals with the players no. as well as be serious. Because managers can't be best players. The, the, the can't best pals with that's the players. So. They can't mm. do that, can they? No. They can't. But David, no, Brent, so. David Brent can. Brent. <laughs> Brent can, yeah. <laughs> By the way, knowledge on the office. Do you watch office? Uh, uh, a, wee, yeah. a wee bit. Watched it. Uh, this, is, this is going back years ago. This <laughs> is going back years ago. But how funny is that one. Zoom call with Billy that night? Remember doing the oh, office amazing, quiz? Mate, amazing. Billy <laughs> McStay came on a quiz with a Zoom right, call. Remember right. COVID? Mm -hmm. He he was our coach at Celtic. He turned. He came mm -hmm. on with a what was it? The suit on Champions uh, League hat. We all sat and got steam and we were just terrorising. <laughs> oh, class, what man. a night that was. Uh, so what was the appeal with Hibs? To be honest with the. Like my, Bunce and Burner? Uh, Bunce, nah. <laughs> ah, for Christ, man, nah, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> nah, eh, no, nah, it was like my, my, my season kids were moving back up the road anyway. And I don't, I don't really want to be dot, I don't even look about in England. I don't want to be dotting about myself in England for a year here. Mm. Now. I mean, 36, no one gives you a three year contract at 36. Mm. So I would have been going somewhere for a year. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> Listen, if it's still there, I'll see you never know. I'll make it my P45 tomorrow. Here, <laughs> but, 
I just thought it was the ideal fit to be honest with you. I played under Lee Johnson before. It was the ideal fit and I just didn't realise how training ground was the LC the Edinburgh. It's uh, oh, it's a nice training ground too. Ah, uh, training ground's nice, aye. Eh? Yeah. Training ground's nice. It's a, listen, it's a, it's a great, it's a great club as well. Obviously, apart from Celtic Rangers, yeah, it's it's Hearts, Hibs, Aberdeen, and it. Hearts are well, that was, was never going to happen anyway because uh-huh. Hearts fans hate me. But it was, it was a great fit, and but obviously it's just not not, not got off to the best start. I just I just want, like the thing is for me, I still I still love playing football. I still love playing football, mate. I still love training. It was the ideal opportunity for me to come back and Hibs is a great club. I think a lot of potential because you look at where Hibs finished last season. That, that's that, that, Paul Hamlin stopped at the start of the day. Hibs have finished third once in the last like, 14 years or something like that. It's incredible, incredible start. That incredible. I didn't really, aye. For and a club in the league. Was that under Jack Ross? It was under Jack Ross yeah, as well. Right, yeah. Yeah. I, could, I couldn't believe that start. That's when frightening. I, when when, I, when I was coming through, it was like Hibs were third. Yeah. Or Hearts were third. One of the two, mm-hmm. Aberdeen were kind of coming up, but it was, I couldn't believe that's that. So it was to try and obviously help the team and try and improve on where the team finished last season. And uh, like I said, it was just, it was the ideal fit at the time. It's not been a great start. Out of the League Cup, early doors, which is never great either. And missing two pens, and I've done a video, so anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying with Deke Derek Rardin two nights a week he's nah. one bed and built <laughs> nah have you spoke to him now uh, he, he, it's a good club he, he, me- he, mess- he messaged me just like, oh, you know the way Deke says man he messaged me on Instagram just uh, oh it's good we're finally getting some good players in something like that <laughs> that <was it. laughs> something like I said aye I see him every Saturday his wee boy plays football All right. against my wee boy his wee boy's a good player is he eh? nah his wee boy's good he plays with Sten- 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 just like Deeks, mate, just shoots all the time. Uh-huh, he just shoots all the time. And when he passed it, he's like, What are you doing passing it? Shoot, eh? So he shouts to his wee boy. Because uh, uh, Gary O'Connell's uh, wee boy's in the. He's, uh, Josh. he's in the, the 23s. Good player, meant to be now. supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. supposed to be. Uh, got a look at guys about him as well, but oh, he's, right? he's supposed to be a, a decent player. Uh, who, who's impressed you since you've been in? Uh, I like I like, I like Portis, to be fair. I like, I like him because. Especially for a for a player like myself, see someone that can actually find a pass. Yeah. I mean, football for me is like see this recycling possession and going backwards and say we played Falkirk in the cup and it was one of the things I said at half time. I was like, Why are we obsessed with passing the ball back to the goalie? When the goalie's just going to do what you could have done. Do you think players understand why they keep the ball or why they, they keep it at certain times? I don't think they realise that they're trying to draw players towards them so that you can create a wee like a 2v1 or like, I don't think sometimes you just pass it for the sake, for the sake of passing it they're passing it but are they told why you're keeping it why you're trying to draw them out I think then you can maybe we change your pace quicken the, the, mm. uh, the pass up but what, is the, what, what is the name of football it's scoring goals isn't it nah, and it's getting forward it's getting nah. forward so mm-hmm. what's the point of being in the middle third mm-hmm. to the, the, the and you're saying nah, and, you're saying the goal. and that's what that's forward, what Portis is going to his locker <coughs> yeah. he's a decent passer but what's his because he's Quite hot headed, didn't he? For the last two or three mm. years, you know, he served some suspensions, you know, he just, Aye. but sometimes he just, he kind of loses it a wee bit. See if he can just rein that, and that's and important. Then do you take someone away from him? Aye, but you can still rein that in a wee bit as well. No, you I know. It's the, the, uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, I'll find it. Paul Portis, is, especially on the ball, I like him on the ball because he's, will find you and he'll, he'll try, he'll try the, mm-hmm. the, the hard pass through the lines. Uh, seen a lot of foreigners, seen a couple of, a couple of French lads, a uh, boy from Benfica, looks, looks quite sharp. But what I always find, by, without going into too much detail, I always find when you have that many foreigners, how many are going to hit the ground running? Mm. Out of uh, six or seven? Mm. One, two, three, maybe max. So I just, uh, I, hope we, I hope we gel quick. It seemed to at the weekend, but a good result of the weekend. Yeah. But I hope we gel quick and, and got off to a good start. And, the reason I'm saying about Portis is because I know we Lewis being away with him with under 21s. Because mm-hmm. I asked him, I said, what's he like as a boy? He's like, ah, he's a great lad. Mm-hmm. Good lad, good laugh and all that. But I've met my car Just I. Uh, but just on the park at times, you can just... Cause I Lewis just think had, the, the stuff last season, then, uh, uh, with the, the comments with mm-hmm. Rangers and stuff like that, after the, uh, the, the, the semi-final. Uh, was it the I always say that sort of stuff. That, I mean, but that, that's just... That's, just, uh, that's someone that's just being young. Uh, that's young, that's, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you've just got to rein that in a wee bit. Somebody just <coughs> gets get beside them, mm. get a grip of him before he gets to now to that point. Yeah. You know, just wee things like that. And that's how sometimes older he'd beside them. 
you know, just get earlier quickly and just say, right, just ease him away. Well, he's got for that Paul Hammond's come back from, he's just come back from injury, mm. so he would probably be playing alongside him. No. But I think last season, Sean Mullen played a three at the back, so he had Rocky, Bashiri, Hamlin and Portis. I think he you wouldn't have liked to have been there last season because he just passed it for the sake of passing it at times. Yeah, it was, uh, no, I know yeah, you don't want like to go, uh, but no, it well, was not. Because I, 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 you know, I, I got on well with Sean, I was actually aye, doing the same, the same for, for Hibs. I know he's Sean. probably right, you know about that, so Sean Fonia. Mars got in there right before me, so I was I was going to I was going to sign that. I knew I was going to be called up the road because I hadn't I hadn't played at Sunderland for a long for a long time and injury and that. So I knew I wasn't I wasn't going to stay. And to be honest, the, the, I don't massively agree with the way the club's been run. Anyway, I didn't like the chairman, not the chairman, Owner. just the director of football. Kind of didn't like the way things were being done there. So I knew I wasn't going to stay. Uh, so I spoke to Sean, but then you know you know you just get a vibe when a manager's been a bit. Vague and things are. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I, I've got a meeting next week. I was like, mm, something, mm-hmm. something's not right here. And then no. a couple of weeks later, I get the sack. So, but I know Sean was trying to build something, but it's things that you hear in football with politics. There's a lot of politics and in football as well. You don't get the time. Yeah. You don't get that time, and fans are on his back. No, as you well. get three months. Pundits as well. You know, listen, man, I'm one of them as well. At no, times, you know, for his head early and, don't. No, I was yeah, watching. No, I was Cheers watching them, <laughs> and it was too slow. It was too methodical. You could see how they were coaching yeah. that, but they just needed a wee bit, bit room for at them at times. You know, get forward, uh, get deliveries. In. I think, I think, short from speaking to him, I think that's what he knew that he needed. Ah, uh, you get it, it from his squad and what he wanted to do in the summer. Mm-hmm. He needed and some some sort of forward players where, mm-hmm. but, uh, but he never got that, and he never got the time. Mm-hmm. He never, he never got that opportunity. Marshall's mm-hmm. a good signing too. David Marshall, good signing for Ibs. Marshall, signing. Uh-huh. Uh, Marshall he's he's up next year, didn't he? Aye, uh, so we we'll get we Marshall quite a lot. Of. Good laugh. Aye, uh, do we feel like we went like that? Like me and Marshall together in the youth team, and then went like that, and then met at the end again. So well, it's not the end yet, is it? But what's the best car you've been in? At a club going to like, whoever you played with. Now you're normally three or four. He's a big man for his cars. Uh, used to be, but yeah, but no, oh, in the cat like the boys. Oh, best car school. Yeah, yeah, right, best car school. I mean, right, okay. Man, Dundee car school was good. Oh, like, Pete James McPate, Paul McGowan. So, so that's, that's, Daz was telling me that's the one. That's where you get the laugh, <laughs> isn't it? Daz was <laughs> telling me the one the other day where Gowser Gowser came into training. Were you at Dundee at the time? No, no, when Daz was there, Daz was there. Been paid up. Oh, had you? The Gowser came in all dressed up one day, and James McPate was like, "You're definitely going on a date." Because like, you never come and dress like uh-huh. this, and he, he, he wrestled him the whole way home and just kept fighting him. <laughs> so, girls up his drenched in sweat. So, can you go in a bit? They two used to fight for Dundee to Glasgow uh, for an hour and a half in the motor, fight Magic. before training, fight after training. You, you, were, at, you were at Sunderland as well, weren't you? Aye, mm-hmm. I was there for about two and a half years. I love my time down there, but uh, it's a good club, isn't it? It's, it's a, a brilliant club. club, but I wasn't in the right kind of uh, state of mind, shall we say, when I was there. A lot of things had, had been on. So, uh, and that's the one thing I regret when I look back because uh, it was big Terry Butcher that took me down there and I kind of didn't play as well as now I, I wanted to, but there was, there was, aye, you know, but a brilliant club. Mm. Uh, we were in the football, it was like a championship at that time. It was Roker Park. Yeah, Roker Park. Yeah. And they were, aye, the fans were, were second to none. Very, I very loved passionate it. fans. And I loved the bus. See every trip back, you know, the long trips back. It was, uh, well, wasn't there a, wasn't it a long trip? It was just a party. Uh-huh. Oh, would you like your party on the bus, oh, would you? Like Terry, like you said, a few times. Terry, and there was a few. Aye, I mean, there's. Uh, aye, well, they had a big Gary Bennett and all that. And, aye, there was just. Oh, aye, Gary Bennett's like, he still does a. Uh, he's he still does a common trade, doesn't he? So, he has. So, see, in terms of Celtic yeah. and Rangers, like, how big would Sunderland be compared? Because, what is it, 40,000? What is the stadium? It's the stadium like it's 50,000. 50,000, yeah. Who? So, like, I mean, Jermaine Defoe's first game back, uh, there was 46,000 there for wow. a League One game. Which is mental, really. It's mental when you think about it. There. Because Sunderland is just Sunderland, and That's everybody that, huh? else supports Sunderland. Yeah. And obviously Newcastle. But uh, in terms of Celtic Rangers, I, I, don't, I don't think there's many as big as Celtic nah, or Rangers, to be honest with you. Like, but people don't realise that down south because it's looked upon as. Yeah. How many teams did you probably get asked? Well, where would Celtic Rangers finish if they. Well, in the Premier League. In the Premier yeah. League. Mm-hmm. If they had the resources that all the Premier League teams get. They'd be competing yeah. at some point in the next five, ten years. I think, yeah. I think so. That's why I think Jack Ross. Not the Ross. teams just now, not yeah, the teams yeah, yeah, they've got just now. They've got the money and all that. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. why I think Jack Ross done well because it's a massive club. Mm. So everything that goes with it. He was probably you know, so, he was like, he was so close to it. Like, so he sent her forward in January, didn't he? Was it Ma- Maja? Maja, mate. Aye. Ah, yeah. Listen, that, that, that was the biggest. It wasn't him. It wasn't Jack. It, mm-hmm. was the, it was the club. It was the owners at the time. But I think there was a payment they owed 
there was something to do with Bordeaux owed Sunderland money and basically Magic went to Bordeaux cancelled out the payment so because they basically went for free. he basically went for free cancelling out a payment and, and we signed we signed Bill Grigg for like I think Magic at the time probably wanted Don't well Bill Grigg didn't he? Mm. Grigg is a great lad he's a well, great lad man great lad but he just he just done it you could tell me seven bids mate rejected wow and he, he didn't even he didn't, he didn't even want to come, come mate. right uh-huh. he, didn't, he didn't even want to go strange part of that whole thing thought was you and Martin Ben in the steam room every day when I had lunch <laughs> <laughs> that is idea of you oh. <laughs> the thing is with Martin Ben as well I actually thought he was alright was like, he oh, he was actually alright he was but it was just that the whole documentary was like you can see the way like Big Brother and, that, and these things are kind of all clipped man just to like Martin Ben slammed the door Jack Rodwell's just announced uh, he's staying for the remainder of his contract Jack, uh-huh. that was to do with Chris Martin signing for Hull over oh, Sunderland yeah. nothing to do with Jack Rodwell it just shows you the way uh, they can manipulate the camera that's... like I'll ask you Derek Martin Boyle's been linked when I moved back to the club that'd be a great signing for Hibs now oh of course aye oh, but it'd be he was sensational when yeah. he was at Hibs so it was in exactly what they need uh, Aidan's already talking about there's a number of foreign boys coming in it takes him a bit bit of time to settle you know how many are going to settle that's another question but he knows you know, the place he, uh, he knows the club you know yeah. what you're going to get for him but as soon as uh, I saw his name linked to Hibs there'll be a few others going to be interested in him I was surprised <coughs> where he went but then again no because obviously he was going to meet a few Bob mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that yeah, yeah. Uh, so but if he's uh, if he's available and Hibs can get him by that's a no brainer well, I, I think again, I think he's Aiden, in, but, well sitting here you know no, injured I thought, as well so. 100% I think he's he, the, the lads were talking about oh they're saying it's close but then there's money or whatever and there's, there's always uh, there's, there's always some, something that can that can potentially you know like screw a deal up but the show is that he, he wants to come back because mm-hmm. I think his missus is pregnant or something like that and, but for us definitely he would, he would definitely add to our squad uh-huh. definitely I think there's other clubs interested in him and all big time uh-huh. there's, there's, a, there's definitely must be a pull though for Hibs whether that works or whether that happens I don't know but Definitely be a, a same a sort of band as you say, aren't you? Boiler, you boiler. Mrs. Weber, what are you thought about? <laughs> where did you where did you go for that? Doesn't matter what you thought about. As I said, Edinburgh Derby Sunday. Derek, oh. fancy hearts. You're Euro club, but I need all here. Between I, I you do, no, I do fancy hearts because I think they're in a good place. Mm. Uh, you look at me bringing Shanklin in as well, Forrest as well. Good signing, mm. great signings. Yeah. So they are. They've got a wee bit of steel about them uh, as well, uh, Hearts. Like I think that's, Rob, good, rec- that's good, good recruitment though because Robbie Nielsen knows the league from last yeah. couple of seasons do you know what I mean Aye. and Robbie's that type he enjoys going he enjoys these games big time yeah. I don't know if he I, I get the sense of that mm. when you see him getting interviewed he'll look forward to going to Easter Road uh, is it Easter Road isn't it Aye. Uh, yeah. he'll, look Road, forward to, uh, he'll look forward to that uh, and when you've got a manager like that that feeds off from the players mm-hmm. I just think that they, they were different class last season and I think there's just a confidence about them a belief about them mm-hmm. uh, yourselves and I did tip you to win against St Johnson I just thought you would get out of the line but I just you just still try to find, find your, your feet. feet and I just think so that's, that's, a, always, that's always going to happen but, with, but again we all talk about derbies but the, anything who do can, I fancy can a derby. definitely mm-hmm. hearts it Kevin Kyle still trying to find his feet because ah. that hangs over I mean, look, at the, Bill, look, at, look at last week look at the goals he scored I mean the goal the, the, the one that Forrest ah, gets great goal, what a team yeah. goal that is yeah. the passing movement talking about, you're job. talking about yeah. getting forward mm-hmm. Mackay's early tap mm-hmm. what a first touch and all that so it's just the ability that they've got you know always think about you know you can have a solid defence a uh, workman like midfield but you need that ability in the forward areas look at them Forrest Shankman mm-hmm. Mackay that's a hand for you boys to come off the bench mm-hmm. a wee bit of physical boys you know on the bench as well yeah. he's been brought I don't know if he was injured or anything but uh, but no I just think there's they've, they've you signed f- well you fancy hearts then you confident in <laughs> <laughs> see you got got you, <laughs> no, listen, I'm, I, I, I hope that <laughs> derbies are funny ones though aren't they like because I mean that's the beauty of them you don't yeah, know the thing you don't know but, and I know from our, man, like our manager he he likes that as well. You know, you're saying nobody else likes to master wood. Like our manager's openly spoken about going to Celtic Park and winning. Well, not he's. What was he drinking by the way? No, but like that's, no, that's, 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 like that's, that's his ambition. Up Edinburgh, uh, that's that's his ambition. Do you know course, what I mean? Uh, and and yeah. going to Celtic Park and winning, mm. and going to Ibrox and winning, and, and 
relishing his but mm-hmm. to be fair, he used to play for Hearts actually as well. Mm-hmm. And so did Jim McAllister. But did he Lee Johnson ah, played yeah. Hearts? I never knew that. Ah, he used to, that. Because he was, I used to play against him in the Rezies. Did you? I used to say, my because he was at Hearts and like he played a lot of Rezzy games. Well, <laughs> played a lot. <laughs> played a few Rezzy games. I played against him, but <laughs> is he any good? Uh, I, right? I can't really remember. To be honest with you, I can't really remember. He was a centre mid. I remember him as a centre mid. Remember him as a centre mid he's him. he's um, ambitious mm-hmm. that way as well. Like, he's, you've got to be as a manager, of course, don't you? Aye. So just depends on. I mean, I'm I'm not into Sunday, so I don't even know what lads will be doing in training. But I know it will be based on how Hearts are going to play mm-hmm. and how we're going to try and play. But mm-hmm. that goes out the window. Did so, you ever play in a derby where you were the underdogs and you went and won the game, like real underdogs I can't, at the time? Uh, remember I that. Can't, I can't really remember if I've been like, like you talk about Rangers just yeah, like, 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 that happens all the time. Aye, like, you, you know, one hundred percent. I mean, there would have been loads of games where we were the favourites. Aye, of course. Yeah, loads of games. There would have been loads of games like that. That's the thing with that. The Celtic Rangers game, Hearts, Hibs. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen today. It's a one-off game, isn't it? But mm-hmm. I just hope that I hope I hope we win because because uh, it will give us a bit of a boost of momentum. See the one thing. See when I walked into that Hearts dressing room. A way, way back. By the way, they let me know all the boys in there. You know, a lot of them were heart staff, the Gary McKay's, the John Robertson's, the Craig Levine's, you know, what it meant to them, you know, to win mm. th- this mm. type of game. And I was like that, because I just thought, oh, it's, it's a Ranger Celtic, that's the be all and end all. But oh, they, they nailed me right away, mm, and they yeah. told me, you know, and they were on me all the time. But do you think um, hearts have still got that though? Within that dress, I'd be Robbie in, that, in so? a few, I think he's quite cute. With that, Robbie. Oh, he's very cute. Ah, he's handsome. Is that your type, is it, Robbie? Right? <laughs> uh, but no, that's so. I think that's really important that you've got. You, you still have a bit of that, you know. Mm. And people go, "Ah, that's old fashioned." That's it. But I think that's still important. You need that, you know. Whether it's sometimes the guys behind the scenes, the kit men and all that, the guys that look after no, them. I, I think you need that. So Steve it, Felton's because, a kit man, isn't he? because they're on you right <laughs> away, aren't they? So, <laughs> 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 no, you're right there, 100%. No, uh, right, true. we're going on to Motherwell. That's enough about that, Derby. Not interested. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Motherwell. Paul Lambert would consider the Motherwell job. Would that be a good appointment for the for the ste- for the Steelman? Look, steel the look, Steelman. That's uh, that Lamb Lambert would be first done. He's, he's, he's got a good he's, record, doesn't yeah, he? He's a good manager, good, good, good man, managerial career. Uh, does he fancy it? Does, that's I think he wants to like, see what Martin O'Neill's wearing. And then, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then try and, and say, I'm only taking it if I get a rugby top. Aye. <laughs> as long as I get a rugby top with 31 on it. <laughs> how, how many guys then copied Martin Lee after? Uh, well, I was the exact same, but. No, I think. He's shot, aye. Aye, he's only got a start speaking when I was at James McCarthy's doing it now with Brendan Rodgers, isn't he? <laughs> what about that? Have you heard James McCarthy? I met James McCarthy the other day. What a guy, man. But that interview, he's speaking. He heard his voice now. Ment on it. I've not heard it, no. <laughs> cut literally had a cut literally in his love it. Uh, <coughs> some Lambo was some player, wasn't he? Lambo. Oh, 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 player, mate. Well, and he played with Motherwell and then went right. to Dortmund. Uh, so we got an know, interview on him, Derek. He told the story, brilliant. What? Right, I'll need to watch it. So but I, 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 remember, I remember him as a player. And he could, she with Motherwell. He didn't mm. play central. Was that a time, wasn't he? He played in a kind of wide area. Right. And then Dortmund, I've obviously watched him. They've seen something in him and just played him in that role. I think they've seen that so he never passes the ball forward, then, so why is he a winger? <laughs> yeah, no, but just it's amazing. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, 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 but Graham Alexander, though, like, considering how well we done last season, to like just be gone like that. Yeah. So, but uh, do you know that they had a, a poor set of two, two games. They were very poor. Oh, was yeah. a few games, Aidan, and, and uh, the punters weren't happy. Oh, well, not, no. no. And that's how that Sligo uh, tie was so important. Remember, I said, I said to the, the guys last week that he had to win that. He had mm. to go through there. But uh, last season at home, they were uh, really poor. Sorry, but. How were they? Aye. Uh-huh. You know, so the fans were already on his back. So this is how he had to. Uh, start this season really well, and, it and, uh, and when you get a result like that, yeah, I mean, they went out, slide, slide out with a whimper. Do you uh, know what I mean? I know. You know, you're, you know, you've not got any god-given right to turn off Sligo, <coughs> but at least three nothing. The other two games, yeah. nah, it's not, it was not, no, it wasn't good, good enough. So, I'll, fair play to him because he's actually went to the board as well, hasn't he? 
So it's getting now I talk about this, it's amicable. You know, I think he felt as well. He said I am. Aye. There was a the, the fans weren't having him, mm. you know, and I thought probably best to, to move on. So Jane Lambert be a good appointment, did it? Of course he would. I mean, look at experience he's got. You know, but that's what I'm saying. Does does Paul Lambert fancy Mullow? But I think just, he would because every other job he's had the last four or five, six years has been yep, sweet, a club, yeah. but mm-hmm. clubs mm-hmm. that have had I'm not saying Mother don't have ambition, but it's a more stable nah. you can lose one week, mm-hmm. you can win the next week, whereas Ipswich, Norwich, mm-hmm. teams like that, it's always been you to win. you've got to win. Did you play against these teams? I played against uh, uh, Blackburn, uh Blackburn Gaffer for a bit as well. I have played against these teams, I what kind of, what have they got the job, what could Motherwell fans expect in terms of style? That's a hard one to say, mate, because I think as a manager you can only go, go with you've what you've got, your personnel. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think yeah, I think they'd be solid. They've got good young solid. boys as well coming yeah. through. They always produce two or three. Who do you like to serve them Is it Maguire, yeah. Cornelius? Cornelius. I mean, he scored a couple of terrific goals last season. Oh, Tierney's not bad as well. Tierney, aye. Yeah. We, we are fella. Kind yeah. of plays further forward, but the boy Cornelius, good player midfielder. That was a member that we kind of uh, half all. He just drilled it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Talk Stop door. Saying, didn't mm. say drilled it like that again, mate. <laughs> again, talk about that connection. These guys are talking about these young boys are all my little supporters. Look at him as well. Look at Paul Lambert coming in with his uh, reputation. That's mm. it, Champions League medal. He likes that Champions League medal, didn't he? Was it watches he used to collect recently? Yeah. Sure he did. Watches? Did you know collect watches? I'm sure he said that in interviews. Do you any memories of him as a player? I just remember like... Uh, because he was so close with Kenny, wasn't he? Because they were at St. together. And Lambert was at the end of his career. Kenny we who? Kenny oh, McDill, that's right. Kenny McDill. And he, he just used to, he played every single Reza game, didn't he? Like every 21s nah. game. I used to love watching him. He used to play every, nah. every single 21s game. And he was brilliant for me. Like, you know, things gave the ball away, whatever. I'd be like, don't worry about it. Just, Come like, you can do things that other players can't. Just keep doing it. Whereas, if that's, say, Lenny, for example, you're yeah, looking at that for Lenny, are you? No. I mean, he was brilliant. But, and, is it, I think it might be new. It's talking about it's just saying, watch me, that's uh-huh. game. Just watch me. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's so underrated as well. Mm. So underrated. Never warmed thing. up either in a resi game. No. Just sitting in a cup of tea in the dressing room, walk out, stroll. That's old school. That's so that old warm up was even getting into the bath. Uh-huh. Into the bath for 10 minutes. Stop making me horny, but you think you're in the bath, man. <laughs> Drilling, I'm thinking about you driving in the bath now, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Easy, tiger. It's hard to do that, it's on it in the bath. <laughs> yeah, I tried that. Water splash. No, uh, tell me about it. It's uh, it's messy. Uh, what about it now? Uh, so we're talking about James McCarthy mm-hmm. again. Uh, he's been linked with Sunderland as well. I seen that the other day. Actually, so, yeah, would it be a good move for him, and would it be a good move for Sunderland? Uh, it depends. I, like I said, I, I met him the other day, and I was I was kind of half interested to kind of hear what he was thinking about Celtic and stuff like that. Just and half he, interested, not well, fully enough. No, just <laughs> half, half interested to hear what he had to say in terms of whether he still had ambition to play every single game or he was cool, like signing, like just sitting at Celtic and not playing, but he was like, now nah, what to play. Mm-hmm. What so age is he now? He's, he's still on. Jim's still only 31. Was, is mm-hmm. it? Oh, he is 31, eh? Right, he's got to go and play. Get your celebrity and get playing. So he, and he, he, did, he did actually say that. So, I mean, it was, it was, we spoke for two minutes, but he did actually say that. And I think him going at that team, like, he play every game and Sunderland j- just now especially they've got f- such a young squad they're going that Brentford model way of young players with asset value and don't sign the way age of 24 I think he'd be good and to, for him like he's he's got to be playing games doesn't he because he's probably went a few years without really playing mm-hmm. a sustained yeah. r- well, having a sustained period of games and running games that team realising what his age is that's a no-brainer yeah. Like, yeah. you know and he's under Sunderland before, uh, like, two, like a season ago, two seasons ago, would have been like mm-hmm. now, but some in the championship uh, are still, would be still the biggest club in the championship. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God, I still, that, that's a no-brainer. And Alec Neal's there, who was his teammate at Hamilton. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how, it's, it's Gallon Pace, it's yeah, Gallon yeah, Pace, yeah, isn't it? it? Which I, I'd be, if I was if I was him, I'd be like, yeah, got to go and play games. How, see, in his peak, Aidan, how, how good was James, he? James, brilliant player, mate. Was he? Brilliant player. Just... The one thing, the one thing with James, I just thought that, see, when he was at Everton, he was kind of Martinez loved him, and Martinez took him to Wigan, and took him to took him to Everton as well. At Everton, he's got so much more to his game as well than pro. What do you think of James McCarthy as a player? Do you think he's like tidy, just gets it past? I was going to say box to box uh, when he was younger. He was when he was younger. Dynamic. 
Seeing possession and stuff like that, like mm-hmm. never gives the ball away, yeah. good feet, left oh, I really foot, right foot. Pl- I liked him as a player, man. It's so much more to his game than, mm-hmm. than maybe, like, especially Everton, than he got, he, credit, for. Than he got credit for, aye. Because there was a couple of times he was linked to bigger moves. No, he was, aye. Uh, like, uh, uh, Newcastle and stuff like that. Were it was like Liverpool, Liverpool when yeah, yeah. Man United and stuff like that. Wow. Re- 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 top player, really good player, good guy as well. Uh, I, just, I just hope he gets back playing, because yeah. it's been... It's never easy not playing, is it? Even if, even though he's back in Glasgow and stuff like that, I know he's a, obviously he's, he's, his dad died the, I think last year, but it's good for, good for him being home, but he wanted to be playing. playing Celtic's it. his team, he's a Celtic fan, but it's not the same if you're not playing, is yeah. it? You remember him as a 16 year old when he broke in? Aye. Good one, eh? Different class, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Aye, he's got about 9 or 10 goals nah, that season, didn't box, he? Box, yeah. But he's gone to a massive club. If he gets an opportunity to go to Sunderland, mm-hmm. I just think I was I was thinking him was a wee bit old. I was thinking he's 34, 35, but still a good age, you know, and still hey, and Alec probably want a wee bit of experience down there. Mm-hmm. Get yourself doing, get yourself playing, mm-hmm. you know, because I think they'll kick on. So they will Sunderland. There's nothing worse when you're just doing a couple of training sessions. <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's right, we're, we're on the coom. Right. You can get credit and do the kitten. So this is a just Eric. This Don't is ask a, him. You pick it. How many teams do you want? Yeah, four. Four teams. Four. Pick right. the four. How did the kitten go last week? How did the kitten go last week? I've told you, mate. Five you years you've been doing this, you've never won a kitten. Oh, oh, Derek Ferguson. You, you, you never even yeah, like that. Come on, give me a cuddle. You've already said. I've already said hearts. I have said hearts. I fancy hearts. Give me a kitten up. Wow. Motherwell oh, St it? Johnston, that's happened for you there. I'm going to go with Motherwell. Uh, I mean, that was a, a great result for him last week after the Sligo game. St Johnston, a lot of people are fear for him this mm. season. You know, they've lost key players, uh, sending off as well the weekend. And I just think Motherwell uh, still waiting. And sometimes when you're waiting on a new manager coming in, and uh, there's that wee bit, I don't know, the dressing room becomes, for whatever reason, we've all played there. You know, sometimes that kind of wee bit of pressure's off you. You just want to go out and play. So at home, Mullow, aye, definitely. I'll go with Mullow. Mm. Ross, like Ross going to Celtic, listen. No. <laughs> Ross going to Celtic. Right. No, by the way, Andy says last week Ross County were, were very good. Very good. And the Hearts, they're always good games <clears throat> if you watch. Ross County Hearts, Hearts, Ross when County. Wouldn't watch it if it was in my back garden. Aye, ah, you would. Because no, they're good enjoy. games, good yeah, football yeah, yeah. games. When, when so they are. Uh, uh, no. Might have be for my back garden. Aye, and, and County. Like, you you oh, fit three games big, on his back garden. Big, strong side. County <laughs> pace yeah, yeah, yeah. in their place. So, yeah. uh, it's you still fancy Celtic getting up there. Uh, but so did you watch Celtic at the weekend? I saw just the, the highlights. The highlights. Aye. I went to the game, did you? I mean, the, the goal for Jotas. Good, isn't it? Strong, mate. Aye, it was strong, top drop. I mean, they start, with, they start, they get away a good start, didn't they? Because mm-hmm. Celtic always come out the blocks flying. Yeah. And you need to match that. If you don't, you can be two or three behind. The game's mm-hmm. dead and buried. But, uh, it's like, like, did you play against O'Reilly, didn't you? I did, I. Good? Good player, mate. I like him, man. I thought he was really good at the weekend. Good player, mate. Uh, I didn't realise he was so young, though. Because like, uh, they had, was it MK Dons? I was actually surprised Celtic signed him. I was like, unbelievable move from him, but could tell when we played against him, really good player. Yeah, really yeah, good yeah. player, like uh, comfortable in the ball, like a like, good bit of vision, you know, like uh, spatial awareness and stuff yeah. like that. Really good player. But Celtic just have that. It's a team you'd love to play in just now. Eh? You'd love to play in. Nah, that's, nah, that's like, Juranovic is playing centre mid. Uh, enough, so that's what, see for you the centre back gets it, he runs in there and the centre back just goes like that, winger going to attack the full back. Nah, and then if the... If the winger doesn't go in with your Anovic, he's getting the ball in turn, then he's playing the winger. Well, yeah, yeah. It's just, be interesting to see how County go. Did they go at them or did they sit half? I mm. think if you sit half, I think they pick you after they've got enough ability. Yeah, yeah. they do. So yeah. I think you'd be that big, strong physicality pace. Especially have that go. tight pitch as well. <coughs> I think so. Yeah. Right, what you got to say there? I was the just going to say, actually, even though, even though I thought, thought Celtic were very strong, I actually was impressed with Aberdeen as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But look, well, they've added a bit of pace as well. Yeah. Aye. A little bit more quality. Athleticism uh, as well. Uh, I, think they, they looked, I, I thought I thought he looked. Uh, I thought how, was good he, how was Goody when you were a young boy? Just good before, good he was before me, mate. Oh, was uh, he? No, Goody was before me. But again, it was like, Goody was like a man. Wasn't he? Like, when he was I thought Goody was at like 28, mate, when he was <laughs> like 18. But they, they were all before us. Uh-huh, but he's well. like, obviously I know Sammy, Craig Sampson, he's at Aberdeen just now. And I thought, I thought they actually looked 
considering how strong Celtic were actually thought Aberdeen looked a lot stronger. Midfield looked a lot stronger. Aberdeen's midfield looked a lot stronger this year. He's had to change it around. And you're right, he wanted to get the edge down a wee bit as well. You know what I mean? And quite rightly so. And Jim, he's been quite ruthless, hasn't he, as well? Aye. You know, and I think he'll no he'll no shy away from that, as we know last season, towards the tail end with Considine's situation, you know, at the door. So, uh, but anyway, we'll go back to that. Ross County, Celtic, ah, Celtic for me. What we need, so you went and uh, you need one there. So we'll get Motherwell and Celtic. Aberdeen, St Mirren, because obviously if you, Rangers mm. come out, you're going to say Rangers. And we'll just talk about Aberdeen there. You're going to say Rangers. <laughs> I, I think at, at home, and you know, there has been a, a, a big... Turner in, in terms of players, but uh, you would expect Aberdeen mm. to win that game. Might be a wee bit tighter than you think. I think mm-hmm. people look at that fixture and say, ah, it'll be comfortable. But I think, uh, I think they'll, they'll certainly win it. Be a wee bit tighter than you think, but... Stop saying tighter. tighter <laughs> Drilling and tighter, man. You're <laughs> a wild boy. What uh, gives me update on Lewis? He's back him? Ah, he's trying to get his visa, his work visa. <clears throat> to get back over so we don't know how long that's going to take you know it might take a week might take a couple of weeks so uh, Serie A aren't they? Aye Aye Brilliant So so it's a great opportunity for him How did they do in Serie A last year? They were middle of the table weren't they? So, but it's going go to places like going to like the San Siro and uh, Milan. Oh, so that's where that gets all juices flowing that by anyway. Of course, so it does. Of course, <laughs> that's the juices. So, you're going to go <laughs> back to uh, like Milan? I'll be going at the end of the month. Uh, so, hopefully, he's got his visa. I hope I'm. So, is there a chance he might miss the start of the season? No, visa I think he started, well, they start the 14th, but he's suspended for the first two games. That carries over because he's from here, so here yeah, which is bonkers, isn't it? It's a different country, it's different league. Uh-huh. So he's got to serve his two match ban. So, uh, but no, he's been there for two, three weeks pre season. He's come back. Um, he's, How did they find the pre season? Because uh, Italian pre seasons are different. Uh-huh. I he couldn't believe the. When they sort of go, they go, they go away to like a training camp oh, somewhere down in the mountains, the mountains, doing their stuff, and you kind know, of the, the normal training, the physical stuff wasn't any, any different from mm-hmm. kind of what you guys would be or we used to do. But uh, it's when the ball came out, that's when the, the shot was when they were getting that tore is. into each other. Right? Mm-hmm. He thought they would be kind of a wee bit more kind of technical, no? But it's more, it's loads of games they play, right. and, they just, and they just go for it. That, right? Aye, right. it's full on. Who's the, so who's the manager now? Do you know, I don't know, but his manager, <coughs> excuse me, he's in hospital with the minute, he's got uh, blood cancer, so it's the coaches yeah. that, are, taking it. that are taking it. He says there's a huge it's amount of It's not my highlights, is it? No? No. 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 Don't was, call was that me player, huh? ah, so, who, what was your, what was a Russian pre-season like? Uh, pre-season was always, it was mad because it was always in uh, January and February. Right. Because like, that, that's your pre-season, because the winter break, but it was like two weeks away in Turkey, and then you'd be like, like twice a day training sessions, then two days off then away to Spain for two weeks and two days off then back to Turkey again oh, the nice. same hotel the same room everything why? don't know mate ask the Russians man <laughs> <laughs> don't ask the Russians mate that's <laughs> the same the two training sessions first thing in the morning and then about six seven at night once it's nah, past we, we used to do that as well but see a lot, of, a lot of teams now have started to do that like they were doing that mm-hmm. 10, 12 years ago yeah. whereas now a lot of teams do you have your own room in the training ground and that and you train it like morning have the afternoon off, train again at seven o'clock at night. Right. A lot of teams do that now. Well, a lot of teams have started to adopt it, but uh, that other some pre-season as well. Are you fluent in Russian? I'm not fluent, I'm, I'm not bad though. Is, is Lewis learning? Oh, hi. Hi, yes, hi. He has to learn. Uh-huh. He'll, he'll, get, he'll, he'll pick it, the, the thing is though, he'll pick it up the easiest way is by hearing it every day. Ah. See, see lessons and all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, probably, probably pointless. I, I think he's going to do that as well, but uh-huh. I know you're, I get what you're saying. Totally. You're, you'll you're hear right. it by like, the manager Aye. speaking at your teammates, you picking me bits up, mm-hmm. you testing yourself, Aye. asking things, trying mm-hmm. it yourself. But I said to him as well. It's a westernised country, Italy as There's well. There's nothing so. wrong with being a mad Scotsman as well, being a wee bit. No. But different. Aye. Aye, because you're, you're in character, get that across. Good. Aye. Good you're show, that's how many back. Still got a team to pick. No, you picked them when you picked Hibs. Bit of four. Oh, no, you didn't include hearts, did you? No. You want to put Hibs in hearts? He's putting hearts in hearts. Hearts will get the... Hearts will get the... Are you going to game now? What? Are you going to game now? I don't know where I'm going. No. I'll find out. No, he gets sent to the muck. Uh, he, he gets Motherwell all the time, didn't yeah. you? It might where be. Where do you stay? You, you stay up that way then? Because he said Motherwell. Are you... Let him know what I stay. I'm Lark Cole. 
Oh, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> when are you back? Uh, I don't know, mate. I've got, <coughs> another, I've got another injection next week, then another injection the week after that. No, so. I'm interested in playing. I mean, on you. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Are we finished? I'm not sure. Fancy it again. No, wait. I, I, I want to get him on camera. Fancy it again next right. week. The Coop one that I mean, but like. I need to get my knowledge of the Scottish game properly nailed down though because right. I've been in England for so long where you know you thought about players if I'm other and stuff like that and mm-hmm. I was just going like ah yeah because you're seeing wee bits you're seeing highlights you're mm-hmm. not I'm not like the way ah you're not like, like, takes you a bit of time takes you a bit of time to get, get does, back used to it and get the players and, and knowing the game don't want to sound disrespectful of course not but uh, I don't know mate if you, whenever you have me mate eh? Would you, do you watch sports scene? Did, did you don't, win? Don't, you don't, don't, don't make me say Where something. Where are you going with this? <laughs> no, I just want to know. Like, did you, when you were did you watch? So it? like, what I do is I'd I'd normally like watch match a day and then like I tape sports scene after it and then I'd not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> right, next week he's back. <laughs>